Hello, and welcome to our playthrough of the city-building sci-fi survival game, Ixion. And now, let's head into our episode. Hello, welcome back to our playthrough of Ixion. At the end of last episode, the Perinesi showed up and is trying to kill uh, them, someone. We've also discovered Romulus, another potentially habitable planet, and these guys are going, oh, it, it doesn't exist. You're wrong. We had to disable, we had to disconnect. Uh, can I show it? I should be able to show it. We had to disconnect the Eden deactivation. So we've disconnected the A not our AI, but the extra AI? Not sure how to word it. I'm dicking with us going, hey, this doesn't exist. Uh, we're building batteries, we're preparing colonists, and it, 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 I'm sitting here panicking, oh, we gotta move that, da 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 I, I never actually clicked this. Let's actually see if it's settable. Yes, Naomi Protocol operating an RAT back door in the administrator's terminal. Blah, 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 blah. The Sector 1 Scientific Syndicate has unlocked access to the planet Rhymeless. It appears to be suitable for human colonization. Administrator, we the crew of the Heisenberg will supervise the colonization procedure. We have access to all the Romulus data. No more Eden protocols will keep us from the planet. We should start by building the necessary infrastructure. There is, however, a small issue. All right, difficult. Loss. Wow! A strong aerodynamic team. Oh! Okay, Romulus's atmosphere will make mass population transfer down to the planet difficult. Using cargo ships will result in a loss of 30% of columns. Chlorine the up atmosphere will cause strong aerodynamic heating, which our cargo ships are not built to withstand. So we need to do this. Uh, electronics and colonists go. Um, that's going to take four cycles. All right. In the meantime, we're going to keep making colonists. Uh, um, I'm hitting wrong buttons. Still panicking. What's this? Atmosphere. This is Alien. Eileen Fitzgerald from the Scientific Syndicate in Sector 1. The EMV Sharon shuttle, the ship you've arrived on, is still stored within Tycoon. If we were to recondition it, it could carry a lot of people, many more than a cargo ship would. I mean, its dissipation ability alone gets me excited. We have prepared a project in the tech lab. We can break down the shuttle's plans, relocate, re re replicate the design, and build more shuttles. All the crew can reach Romulus. Understood. Romulus colonization. Wow. Pause that shit. Docking bay. Research. Done. All right. And because of that, what we will do is build in here a few things. Um, a new docking bay. Go. We're going to need alloys up the wazoo. Uh, we're going to need more popular... Uh, I'm going to stick to the plan. Just because we know I'm going to need to throw in more batteries. Um, what we will also do is Sector 1 down to 100 in case of emergencies. Sector 2 in case of emergencies. Sector 3 in case of emergencies. In case of emergencies. In case of emergencies. And we'll map. Well, we'll set it to 200. Well, they're going to shuffle everything around. I screwed that up. Hold on. Sector 4. 200. Diamonds are forever. That's this one. Uh, we are no longer receiving transmissions from the Mainland team. Behavioral analysis of their final communication. 
has identified signs of an unhealthy fascination and self-destructive tendencies. But before it acted what they refer to as the descent to other gods, the dream transmitted a final packet of study data. Right, I've got repatriate. More science than I know what to do with. We're gonna do Vulcan. Well, all right, let's do Vulcan. Uh, there are numerous electro electromagnetic disturbances on the surface of the comet Vulcan. First visuals capture the comet's vibrant green tail. This is the team of the Medusa. We have landed on Vulcan. Proximity analysis indicates the comet is shedding large amounts of boron. Significant electromagnetic magnetic disturbances have also been detected. They appear to be similar in nature to those that observed on the Rokokonsky Comet. Study it. I'm probably going to end up regretting this. Yeah, it is slowly moving. Are we done sciencing? No. How are we doing on food? Why 26? What? Oh, because this is in free form? Hold on. And five. Alright. Um. Because they're repairing. Alright. Are they, um. In a burn cycle? Research harmless. Construct 20 colonists. Train, uh, sorry, 20 shuttles, train 3,000 colonists. What? That's gonna affect things. Right. How does... How, okay, the training we can do. Like, are they one-shot uses? Because there's nine. Not... Nine... Six times nine is... Is... More than 20, I can tell you that much. Hold on. Fifty-four. Oh, we don't need probes anymore, though, do we? So, what we can do in Sector 6... I don't think we need this. Or this. Uh, so there's nine more. That's 18. I think we can get away with this. If I delete this as well and rebuild it, Here, I can stick... Okay, we can do this. And then stick another one... There. Right? That's quite a bit, actually. Uh, uh, right, um, and just in case we go ham on food, I'm going to build that as well, uh, um, right, so there's nine, 18, all right, so it's, it's not as bad as I thought, um, and if I wanted to, can I stick one in two? Yes. Actually, if we delete this, 
and this. We can cancel this destruction. Three six. Sorry, three six nine. We can put one there. Stick some batteries in there. Uh. Move these around. And convert this into shuttles. So there's so that's three six nine, twelve fifteen eighteen with one double. So this would be the double. Oh. 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 Hey. Not sure how this works then. But I've still got space, plenty of space here. Uh, do we have how many columnists? We have four hundred columns. I'm going to transfer. Transfer only colonists from Sector 3 to Sector 4. 400. Start migration. Okay, this is not working the way I thought it was. But that's okay. How are we doing on food? 106%. Alright, so this might be overkill on food, but that's okay. Specialized in space rank one. Did we get that before? I feel like we got that before. Yeah, hull repair is 10% more efficient. I assume rank two doubles it. So we could have kept that. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, training. We could increase training. Um, right? That's 400 at a time? This is on auto. And that's every three cycles. Alright, let's rebuild. Okay, can't quite. Let's build, rebuild one. Delete this one. And uh, build a... Oh, I don't know if it actually fits. Yes, it does. We'll build a, a, a space training facility here as well. Can I, can I queue multiple up? I can! Oh! Okay... Oh yeah, I am going to burn through my alloys like they're going out of style. So that's two, four... Six... All right, sure. I think this is gonna work the way I want it to? Question mark? Um, seven days left there. We've been down into the crevasses, crevices of Vulcan, seeking the source of electromagnetic magnetic disturbances. Entering a small cave full of luminescent boron crystals, we stopped to take readings. Results seemed to vary. Proceeding further in, we found a large floating gray sphere. Similar to the one found by the Varja, Varjaville crew. After liaising with the Takoon scientific community, a number of controversial theories have been put forward and proposals made for possible experiments that might be attempted on the sphere. Debate continues. I've noticed a growing fascination among the... Oh, this is absurd since it's obviously only for me. Oh. Well, let's analyze it while well, under strict psychological surveillances. You're there. You can go back there, I guess.
back to one. Science. Hey, we're not doing anything. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Ooh, I wonder what that is. Dun 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 dun. Dun dun. Oh, nope. Probe launcher. Here. Okay. Alright, this is gonna be. Four? Alright. Alright, we need to let things build. Because we might need the space. Uh, and what we'll do is also... Two batteries. I could also put training here. Uh, back to six. What would be better? Six has... Sorry. Bodies, please. Six has... 300... 600 non-workers. 10 non-workers. But we can always transfer them out. 600 non-workers. 600 non-workers. 100 non-workers, 300 Let's go back to two. Well, we're gonna need batteries. Hold on. Just in case I need food. You've got a lot of non-workers. Great. Delete. Yes. Build. Right. Power. Yeah, don't need carbon. Don't think I'll need this. That'll save us a power. I mean, six isn't much, but it's something. You build two. You build two. Like, do we have to assign shuttles? No. Okay. And I think a training air... Well, maybe not in there. So that means you're building two. Alright. That should do it. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought would happen. We are now over food. But food's not the issue. Pause. How many? Right. Uh, in. Sorry. Uh, sector one. You want none. Sector two. None. Three. None. Four. None. Five. None. Six. Max. Uh, yeah, you don't need that much carbon. 40 should be plenty. Uh, well, we'll say, we'll say 50. Same thing here. Oh, sorry, not carbon. Uh, polymers. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. Alright, 3 needs to be set for 50. Uh, five needs to be set for 50. Uh, uh, two needs to be set for 50. One and six needs to be set for 50. Okay. Is our sciencing sciencing? Yeah, let's make it science some more. Romulus. The administrative site has been built, energy facilities are operational. Oxygen recycling systems are up and running, and the site is being maintained at an optimal 18 degrees. Must be Celsius. We have also collected some relevant data on the atmospheric entry issue and have sent this to the Tacoon to support efforts there. Construct the Syndicate site. Yes. Uh, the crew... Yeah, the Syndicate. Have been 
built the serial room for food production, healing, and scientific research. Go! Um, you'll go from there. In the meantime, on Vulcan, by applying applying preventative monitoring protocols, the team of the Medusa were able to counter any perceived negative impacts from the sphere, successfully sending several measuring devices in the sphere itself. The team was able to collect a large amount of unusually precise data sets. Ah, do we want to perform the experimentation? That's a good question. Uh, you know what? Let's do it. We're not going to give him free reign, but... Woo! Alright, 909. Alright, that needs to be built. Got a bunch. You have a bunch too, right? Sector 5. 800, 600 non workers. Two power. Alright, never mind. I was like, ah, uh, is it enough? It's enough. Which means. Three. How much? Five. Yeah, that's enough. We'll go ahead and open up a third one. Okay. Twelve. We might need the alloys for something else. Back to sector four. Uh. We'll go ahead and queue up another Dematic Quarter. Alright, we're not building it. Well, yeah, we did build something in there. Okay. Great. Start training. How are we going to need more of either of these? Maybe. That's why I'm hesitant to destroy them. Uh, let's actually set... I don't think we're going to be building in Sector 1. So let's set that to the minimum. Uh, sector 6... Don't think we're going to be building there either. So let's set sector six. I'll keep fifty just in case. Still ahead on food. Okay. So these just build. So there's another 20. One doesn't get it. Oh, yeah, it does. Great. Just because I can. We do need to keep an eye on the population here and shuffle them around as needed. Um, let's trade only non-workers, Sector 3 to Sector 5, 200. Start migration. Don't put us near the top, but that's okay. Anything going on out here? Uh, construct? Okay. I guess it's loading up resources? Sector 6. What? Well, 
space for 1120. So not sure what's going on there. That's fine. There we go. Now it's ticking. That's fine. Great. Alright, so we're gonna snag everything. And when this triggers, we'll start training colonists here as well. Um... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll set Sector 3 to 50. Uh, four. Now we're down. You only need a hundred. That's fine. Two can be fifty. Five can be fifty as well. Nope. Oh. Uh. This is the crew of the Bargeville. I don't know how you managed it, Administrator, but we have returned. We have been with the Bargeville, existing in ways that se seem inconceivable to us now. Passing through strange solid, liquid, and gaseous lands, matter behaved in a pattern outside for acceptance and understanding. Time was not linear. Days were lived where the chronology of action was not the same for every member of the team. We drifted in this frowsy and morass lust till we were extracted by the Medusa team. Our ship is now in orbit of Vulcan. Oh! Cool? I guess? Let you stay there. Alright. That was... unexpected. A science is not a science thing. We have plenty of science to science. And I'll just keep researching. Alright, good. This is going to be up and running fairly soon. Dope. And we're going to start training system. Alright, we've constructed the syndicate site. The syndicate site is finished. Agricultural systems are operational. The infirmary is ready in stock. And research labs have been set up with all the necessary equipment. They've completed more than half of the work required to successfully colonize Rhymeless. Construct the Ashtigonite site. Uh... Here? Uh, we need... Alright, so on the left is how much I have. Okay, on the right is how much it needs. Gotcha. We'll go out of there. And now we need to make sure Sector 6 has the 50. Like this. got colonists going. How is the population of... I've got room for 792. There's only 500 left, so we can just let that run. So, the next priority, I guess, is building... I 
again, science is not exciting. So we're just gonna keep the science going. Yeah, this point, how we doing? Ooh, I'll get worried if it gets to here. We should be okay. I wish we could assign more than one. You know what I mean? I would love to be able to assign two. So that's going to be done in two days. So now we need batteries. That's the next major goal. Um, you've got... Oh, these are tier twos. Oops! Hold on. So give me some tier threes. There's no room here. We can delete this. It doesn't buy us much space. Fit another tier three there. I might need that space for other things. Yeah, we can't fit any in here. Um, but we can, well, tier three. Two tier threes. I mean, I guess a couple of tier twos never hurt. One tier three, two, and it's just no room. Not without dismantling stuff we might actually need. Yeah, and we need to let. We kind of need to let... Well, not there. I think we're done building, so... We'll set everything to 50. And go from there. Plenty of space, it's just a matter of moving people around. Um, can I train people here? No, there's no training here. Uh, unless I really want to. But I think we're, I think we're training colonists fast enough. So we'll hold off on that. Yeah, it's gonna come down to the batteries. Oh! Oh, I screwed up. Sorry. Uh, you don't have any cryonics. You don't have any cryonics? Yeah, you've got 360. You don't... Oh! Okay. Oh, so we need to set... Wait a minute. How are there 495 left then? Oh, you've got 65. So sectors 5, 0, and 6, 0. Right? Yes. Oops. That's my bad. I fully admit that mistake. Okay, you need electronics. We do... We don't need that many electronics here. So I will cut this down to 10. So in sector 2, we'll say 10. And they'll shuffle into here. Actually, what I need to do then... Sector 1... 10... 
Hector 4, 10, Hector 5, 10, Hector 6. They should shuffle around. Yeah, perfect. So I'm gonna turn this back on. Uh, and we'll say in Sector 1, since we're not doing any trading, just two, just in case. All right, constructed the Ashton Ash, Ashtonite site. Construction of the Ashtonite site has been completed. A multi factory will allow us to transform the raw materials and Romulus into usable resources. The vehicle storage bay and technical maintenance rooms are operational. The first human city in Romulus has just been born. The Romulus? Oh, hey. So all we have to do is build batteries. Steal the science, but I'm not going to do any any events on Riemann. But now we just need to build batteries. How are we on food? 122%. So... Sorry. Battery there. Another battery there. Need, might need that space for other things. Let's run our road this way. Another medium battery. And a couple of small batteries. Again, might need the food. Alright, pause. Great! Sector 3. Max. One. Minimum. Two. Minimum. Four. Minimum. Five. Minimum. Six. Minimum. Nope. Gonna wake everybody up! base. Do we have a training center in four? No. Alright. We'll let things sit for now. So yeah, they give you a little over 6,000 crew. Right, this is sector two. We can go ahead and dismantle that one. And go ahead. Ooh. Wee! All the batteries. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna need this, but. Just in case, I'll go ahead and kick it on. This is literally everything we can possibly build. Alright, you're empty. 400. So you've got 210. You have none. You're sector 5. We can go ahead and delete you. To save on some power. Not a lot of power, but some. Things need to be built, which is why this is set for alloys. So where are we building? We're building 
here. We will build there. I don't think we're going to build in Sector 3. So let's set Sector 3 to no alloys. Uh, we might build in Sector 2. Sector 1 is no alloys. Sector 6 is building. Sector 5 we might build. And Sector 4. Alright. How are we doing? Here. Getting close! Eight hundred and twenty-four. Okay, I've got a bunch of batteries being built in here. Trying to let Trump. I'll look broken. Question, are there any more colonists? There are no non-workers, there are no colonists to train in Sector 2. Delete. Done. Rather right have the battery space right now. Yeah, you'll be fine. We need to build a battery here. Oh, we're building two there. Right. Are there any colonists left? Uh, non colonists left. Sorry. Non workers left in Sector 5. There's one. Everyone else is a colonist. Sector 6 is still training. So let's transfer. There's 300. So let's transfer only colonists from Sector 5 to Sector 6. 300. And transfer non-workers from Sector 6 to Sector 5. 300. Boink. So they're going to overlap each other. Great. Almost down to zero. Eight hundred and sixty-seven. Alright, so what is the priority? Oh, wow, these hardly take... Alright, I mean, power's power. 916. Alright, let's rush the one here. So that is Sector 6. Let's go ahead and rush everything to Sector 6. Uh, science is done. Oh, this is gonna be close. Not quite enough. I think I just finish it up in here. Is that enough? Each big takes up how much? 970. It went down. What? Alright, let's build a tier 7 by 7 times 7. It's 48. So we're gonna keep that one there and we're gonna transfer everything. So now we want sector 2. So, two, sixty, six, minimum, 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 
Minimum. Minimum. Yo. Science is done sciencing. I don't care about the whole temple. Crop farm. Sure. So that should trigger it. Area of a thousand tiles. Seven by seven is 36. There we go. Charge the batteries. Right. Well, I'm glad I went with charge speed then. Um, how are we doing on food? We're still way ahead on food. All right, just because we're so far ahead on food. I'm gonna build- oh, actually, no, I'm not. Okay, so now... Oh, repairs! Shit. So, EVAs. Well, we've got enough, so we need... There's no EVA in Sector 2. Uh, there is one in Sector... Forgot about repairs. So we need alloys in 4, 6, 1... ...and 3. Sorry. Uh, back down to zero. All right. Go. And now they'll spread out so we can repair the hull. Uh, uh, preferably now. There we go. I totally forgot about repairs. That is my bad. Okay, so now we're just charging. Oh, this is gonna be close. We're up to 80%. Yeah, and now we just wait. I may have to... Wow, I have 999 science. Great. No colonists. Sector two. 23, enter, start migration. One. One from sector five to sector three. Yeah, I clicked the wrong one. And from sector four to sector three. 163, sector 1 to sector 3. Okay. Which means maybe this will save power or let things charge up quicker. Delete. I thought we had three extra. Hold on. I 
Okay. These are ten. Uh, I don't think we're going to need electronics. Thirty power. Yeah. If we need electronics, we'll make them. We'll set one to this. Maybe that'll let us charge up faster. I'm hoping that the more extra power we have, the faster we charge sort of thing. Yeah, I may have to do this level again. Um... I mean, there's nothing I want to get. There's some extra power there. Extra power there. Extra power there. Extra power there. You don't have one. We do need these. Sticks. I mean... What's this policy? Everyone, because now it doesn't matter. That's going to drop us from eight to... All right, you know what? Extra power. Can I always rebuild it if I absolutely have to? Seven. I'll go down to four. But did we not build one in here? Interesting. Um, Thirty-two. Let's go ahead and delete one of these. So there's only one. We do need the EVAs. All right, let's go ahead and delete this one as well. All right. Like, does that make sense? The more extra power we have, the faster... Yeah, the faster batteries seem to charge. Yeah. Wow, that changed things. Yeah. So the more juice you have, the faster the batteries charge. Look. Look at how fast it's going up now. Now it's taking less than a cycle. Okay. Woo! Eight. Uh, this is gonna be close. Uh, hi, Medusa! Batteries charged! In the planetary system map. So I don't have to unload things? Oh, that feels weird. All right, I'm going to save as test one. And away we go. So I, I guess we assume we unload everything we have to and unload all the colonists like we have to. Administrator, if you are listening to this message, it means the tycoon has reached its destination despite the unpredictable parameters that framed the equation of its journey. Okay. The crew Look, has found a new home. Whether the one planned for, or another. These survivors have already begun to lay the foundations of a new cradle. Where creativity, invention, and joy can bloom again. Cool! Perhaps you already understand why I insisted. Why the mission launch was precipitated. When I discovered that the lunaclism was inevitable, I also understood that any attempt to save our species after this would have been doomed to fail. You took the helm in the only launch window available to us. Thanks to you, our efforts, our mistakes, 
our sins and sacrifices will sink into oblivion, into the past, while the first pages are written for a newly born humanity. Little desync error. Okay, I guess we get everyone off and all the supplies off. And that's it! That's the end! We beat it! There's only an hour left. I guess it could have been the last recording session, but I didn't have time because of life. Oh, thank God! Alright, Tacoon Unchained, Catastrophe Avoided, Mutual Loyalty. So I'm assuming there are different endings. What does that mean? Well, we know there's one where you probably be do something with the Ash Tacoonites. Right? Let's see. If we check the achievements. <laughs> oh, that's the wrong game. God. The board. Hey! The dog survives the journey. Destroy the Piranesi before it destroys a planet. Finish the game by emancipating yourself from Dolos. So there must be one. Where you don't emancipate yourself from Dolos. Um, I still have six hidden achievements. So let's assume there's at least one other ending. So there is some replayability there. So you can replay it. Try to see that second ending. Restart the chapter. However you want to do it. Steve, you can do it without losing anyone. I bet you that's a challenge. You can beat the game on just solar power, which I'm surprised by. Maybe you can play a playthrough without using, or using minimum solar power. So. The game is good enough. I suggest you go ahead and play it yourself. Um, for a... What's the word I want? Indie Development Studio. It was a very well done game. Hats off to the publishers and producers. I think it's the same company. So hats off to... Uh... Oh no, hold on. Uh, Bulwark Studios and Casino Games. You've got a winner. Uh, um... You did well. Uh, yeah, Calypso Media. Offices all have supported us on this journey. Uh, good mechanics, some balancing issues, uh, good story, multiple endings, no replayability in the form of, like I said, option A will always lead to outcome one. Option B always leads to, so there's no replayability. The ending. There are different endings. You can challenge yourself. Um, try to find different ways of putting ships, uh, buildings together. Uh, yeah, for thirty dollars, this game is decidedly worth it. We got the ending where we had humanity survive. I'm guessing the other ending maybe is is gene modification and everyone's sen settling on Remus. Maybe that's a different endgame movie. I don't know. But yes, this game is easily worth... Cancel. $35. Easily worth the $35. Um... I would argue it might be a tad easier than Frostpunk, because Frostpunk has that thing of rolling the dice. If you make a decision, 20%, this might happen, 30%, this might happen, so there's that. Uh, that is not in this game. But otherwise, great game, well done. Mwah. Easily worth the $35. If you watch me play it, uh, even just a little bit, we're like, ooh, I'm curious. Go ahead, buy it, worth it, good game. Uh, thank you very much for joining me. We are done for the day. Uh, those are my thoughts. Uh, it, they did an amazing job all around. They are continuing to mount it. They are planning... Oh, they are planning to add... 
Uh, my connection is going wonky, so I may have to end it today. Now, um, anyways, uh, they are planning to add a difficulty sliders and difficulty options. Uh, they did say they were considering adding an endless mode. I could see that working very well here. Uh, uh, so yeah, if you're watching this episode at a later date, maybe they've already added it. Added it further increasing. Your money's worth for 35 bucks at, I would say, a solid 20 to 30 hours of gameplay, you're getting your money's worth. Give the, if you're a fan of city builders, survival games, city building survival games, uh, games that tell a good story, go ahead. Give it a try. Definitely worth it. Uh, but we are done for the day. Well, let me rephrase that. We are done recording this. We are done this playthrough. Uh, we, if you enjoyed this playthrough, feel free to like, subscribe, or comment, or this video, smash that bell, all that jazz. Even better, check out other videos and playthroughs I've done. Bestest, come on over and check me out when I stream live every Sunday through Friday. Thank you very much for joining me, and until we see each other again, remember, be kind to one another. Hello, this is Gohan the Chichilla, and we hope you're having a good day, as do I. As always, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to follow, like, subscribe, or comment. Or, even better, come on over to twitch.tv backslash sparkytdk and watch me live every Monday through Friday. Thank you for your support.